June 2010. Billionaires Warren Buffett and Bill and Melinda Gates announce the Giving Pledge. Its mission? Convincing billionaires to give at least half of their money to charity, either during their lifetime or at the time of their death. The Giving Pledge is a pledge made up by about 122 billionaires who have decided that they're going to give a substantial, if not the lion's share, portion of their money to various foundations that will be involved in feeding the poor, improving education, clean water in Africa, things like that. When you're lucky enough to have a, a great success, now then you have a question, are you going to choose to spend it on yourself? Or do you want to give it back to society? Bill Gates has had, in many ways, a phenomenally, phenomenally advantageous upbringing that has allowed him to do the great things he has done. His motivation to be philanthropic is more responsibility-based. Someone who has grown up in poverty, as many billionaires have. Larry Ellison began life in Chicago in a very, very poor place. That oftentimes is what induces people to feel a little bit guilt, a little bit of guilt about the need to pay back. Do billionaires donate so much of their money because they feel guilty about their fortune? Or could there be another reason hidden in the way they think? Billionaires are different from us. They're not just us, but with more money. They think that they deserve to rule the planet. They think that without them, the planet wouldn't turn on its axis. Billionaires really do see the world as a proving ground, as opposed to millionaires, let's say, who see the world as a playground. And what that really means is billionaires really want to leave their mark. But do billionaires actually think differently about the world than the rest of us? And might that way of thinking contribute to their great fortunes? Some experts believe the answer is yes and claim many billionaires have what some commonly refer to as a God complex. In 1995, billionaire investor George Soros even admitted it to the New Yorker magazine. George Soros is worth more than many small countries. Our new God is money. So of course, George Soros thinks of himself as a messiah. Certain billionaires have this grandiose sense of, I am a godlike figure put here to do great things. They will see themselves as having some responsibility to change the world. Soros's net worth tops $8.6 billion. The once impoverished student built his bank account through clever manipulations of financial markets. Billionaires like George Soros believe that they're going to lead us to the deregulated free market future with low taxes. They believe, even when they're stealing with both fists, that they're doing God's work. There are a lot of very scary billionaires out there because after a while they seem to feel their great wealth endows them with superior wisdom and foresight and the right to start meddling with other people's lives. But when you're out there saying, I am doing God's work, all restraint is gone. And I think that's dangerous. Do billionaires think they know better than the majority? That the American masses are just objects to control? And is there really a secret motivation behind their charity work? The fastest way, and really the most effective way for billionaires to change the world, is through philanthropy. Because philanthropy involves investing a large amount of money in a cause that they feel is important. In 1979, George Soros created the Open Society Foundations, an operation aimed at social reform. Since its inception, Soros has given away more than $7 billion to various causes. Oprah Winfrey has used her fortune to promote education, funding a $40 million leadership academy for girls in South Africa. And the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has bestowed more than $28 billion in grants. Bill Gates has gotten very involved in education to the extent that one of the things that the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is supporting is data tracking on children. 
As a matter of fact, the foundation has already funded bracelets that go on children's arms that track their mood. They want to be able to individually track every child through school. When you explain to parents what's going on when it comes to data tracking, they get very uncomfortable that the government has this kind of information that they can freely share amongst, the, amongst all of the government agencies. Could a profound sense of responsibility really motivate billionaires to give back to charity? Or is philanthropy a way for the wealthy to exercise their power over the people? No matter how much money billionaires give away, the fundamental problems that gigantic fortunes being misused politically and distorting our economy remains. Why do some billionaires donate so much of their money? Is it perhaps a covert method used to manipulate the American agenda? And do the affluent really know what's best for Americans? Or are their philanthropic and even political actions only separating them even further from the masses? Coming up real people in control know the value of gold and they are manipulating it china's using intelligence assets secret agents banks around the world to acquire gold no one knows exactly how much they're acquiring